Hello and welcome to another PA Pages how-to tutorial video. Last week we had a look at anchor points and creating anchor buttons in Microsoft Excel. This week we're going to have a look at doing the exact same thing in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. To make things short and sweet, I've already created a mock-up for me to show you how to do it. So generally what you would do is set up your presentation and then create a, a menu page with the buttons so that you could create the anchor points. So to show you what I mean by an anchor point or a button, I've already set up button number one. So once you go into the presentation and click play from start, you'll see here when I hover over it, it turns into a button. So I can click on that and it takes me to slide one. To get started, what you need to do is right click so that it brings up the menu Go to Action Settings, select Hyperlink To, and this is where you select where it's going to link to. So you can see here you can go to the next slide, previous slide, you can choose the actual slide number, which is what I've done here. You can select a URL, another PowerPoint presentation, a video, anything you like. So once you've done that, you can also highlight the click and it Play a bit of a sound. So we'll have a bit of a play here and we'll just select, it, select an applause and click on OK. So once you go back into the play from start, you can see if I click on one, it doesn't make a sound. Go back and click on number two. And it makes the sound and takes you to slide two. So let's do it again. Click on the button that you've created, right click on your mouse, Action settings, hyperlink to, select your slide, click on OK, and click on OK again. To test it and make sure it works, play from start, and as you can see, it works. If you're using this feature in a presentation or your boss is using it in a presentation, what you would need to do is create a similar button on the page where you could click and it would take you back to that menu. So let's take a look at that. So on here, we just simply place a go back to start button. And we do the same thing. Right click on our mouse, action settings, hyperlink back to the first slide one click on OK, highlight click and click on OK. So you'll see now that if we go to slide three and then go back to start, it takes us back to the menu. So it just adds a bit of a different feature when presenting. If you have any questions or comments or if there is anything you would love to see us do, please post in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us the thumbs up and if you'd love to stay connected and see all of our up and coming videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.